ultimately, mathematics is the foundation for all of engineering and science. If you're a poet, and a bad poet at that, there's no harm done. But as an engineer, a physicist, a mathematician, you can do severe damage if you are not competent. So we believe that exams are a really meaningful part of the class. They're meaningful for us, they tell us what you know and what you don't know, and they're meaningful for you because you can use them as a learning tool. Actually, from the life of a student, it can be very deceptive going through a course. It is so easy to sit in the lecture room, uh, watch the videos online, and never do it on your own. And, and it is a very deceptive thing. So exams probably are one of the best indicators of how well you know the material versus how well you think you know the material. One of the things about an exam is it is not necessarily a measure of your innate intelligence. It's not an IQ test. It's really a measure of how much you have prepared for that exam. Did you prepare over time? Did you learn the material that's in the textbook? Did you understand the ideas that we've been covering? When they put together an exam, it's, it's done in a very intentional way. Having access to information is not equivalent to knowledge and understanding. And then the ability to sit in a classroom and watch somebody else work a problem, the instructor, a TA, or sit in a dorm room and watch one of your fellow students work a problem, that is not equivalent to being able to negotiate and navigate that problem on your own. And exams are probably one of the few times when it's just you and the problem. And this is going to relate to your future career as an engineer. When you're an engineer, no one's going to bring you a problem and say, oh, please find the derivative of this function. And oh, by the way, I have the answer in my desk door. It's going to be your job as an engineer to decide what mathematics is most relevant to that particular problem.